Greetings here from the Baron's Tundra. Today I'll be covering with you some of the basic management functions you'll be using throughout the semester here in Baron's. So the first thing, just the basics here, we're going to work through clocking in our servers. So the first thing you'll have to do is punch in their number, and all of our server numbers are prefaced with a 10, so 1, 0. So here we have server 1, so you're going to type in 1, 0, 1. Okay, you're going to clock them in. And then you're going to assign them a card. So you're going to go to the function, employee, you're going to change that card's password. Swipe this card twice. And it will take a little while for it to function here. Okay, so at this point we can exit out of the screen, and as you see, they now have their card active so they do not type their number every time, which will improve the efficiency for them. Now, you do have your two manager numbers, which is going to be 115. Again, you'll have to clock in. And you also have 116. These will not have cards. You will need to type in the number manually every time. So let's go into our manager screen here. We have our function key right here, and most of your functions are going to be located here in the financial section. You are able to transfer tables through uh, between servers. So if you have a server that's leaving early or that's not able that accidentally got assigned a table, you can actually go through and transfer tables between servers so you can transfer to someone else. You are also able to look at our item availability. So if you're out of our chicken Caesar salad today, you can actually go in and tell the system we don't have it. Or if you have a limited number, say you only have five orders of that remaining, you can go in and tell our system we only have five. So whenever five orders have been ordered, uh, it will no longer be available and servers will not be able to order it. We are also able to go back into your financial. Uh, if worse comes to worse and our system is about to crash or if we just have a lot of tickets open, you're able to print all of your open checks as well from this screen. Now let's say we need to comp an item. So say they had an entree that they didn't really care for here. Let's just say they had the crusted tilapia and french fries on the side there. Um, they didn't like the tilapia. The service was slow, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that meal for them. So what you're going to do is highlight that item after it's ordered, of course. You're going to highlight it, hit delete. Here you're going to have your six reasons as to why you're voiding that item. So you have overring, server error, complimentary, out of stock, recovery, or employee meal. So in this case, if they weren't happy with their food, we're going to hit recovery. Okay. And at this point, it's going to spit you out a little ticket. You don't need to keep this. It's not important. So if this is all this table had, you would simply go close out this check. The balance is going to be zero. Just hit close, and you're good to go there. Well, as for our essential functions, I believe that's going to do it.